Hi, 3D fans. Welcome to 3D Fun. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this cheap self-locking relay to automatically shut down your 3D printer after printing. Here is what it looks like inside this relay. The relay has two ways to be triggered. One is the switch trigger. Once the two wires are connected, the relay will be triggered. And another way to trick the relay is the signal terminal. Once a 5 volt current is sent to this terminal, and the relay will be triggered. So you can use the switch trigger to turn on the printer manually with a, a self-resetting button switch and use this signal terminal to automatically shut down your printer up after printing. After the print job is done, the print board the printer board sends a signal to this terminal to automatically shut down your printer. Here is a wiring diagram I drew. I'm not good at drawing, drawing the wiring diagram. Hopefully you can understand it. And uh, this is the 220 volt AC. And this is the 5 volt DC power supply. And this is the 24 volt DC power supply. And this is the self-resetting button switch. And this is the self-locking relay. The self-locking relay is powered by a 5 volt DC power supply. And the red line stands for the, the hard line and the black line stands for the ground line. The relay is powered by the 5 volt power supply. And uh, the the com the com terminal is connected to the hotline of the twenty the two hundred twenty volt AC. And uh, this normal open terminal is connected to the twenty four volt power supply. The signal terminal is connected to the. Uh, 5 volt pin on the print board and this ground terminal is connected to the ground pin of the print board. The print boards are powered up by the 24 DC power supply. So once the relay is triggered, the print board will be shut down. And once you push the sweep button switch, the relay will be triggered again and uh, the print board will be powered up again so the printer is turned on this is the pin diagram of the SKR 1.4 printer board i used the neopixel pins for the signal terminal of the relay because it can produce a 5 volt signal like the other pins, like the end stop pins, they can only produce a 3 volt signal, so it cannot work with this relay. So I use this, uh, this new pixel pins, it can produce a 5 volt signal. The ground pins connected to, to the ground, ground terminal on the relay, and this middle pin is connected to the signal terminal of the relay you can use any pins on your on your printer boards which can produce a 5 volt signal to the relay and after wiring just add the output pin section in your printer.cfg file it's easy to set just provide the pin numbers and uh, the PWM is set to false and add a, 
a command in the G code micro of the print end. Just one line command set pin. It can automatically shut down your printer after the printing job is done. Now I have just uh, finished and finished the uh, printing job and uh, once the extruder temperature reached 50 Celsius the print board will send the signal to the relay and uh, will, it, the printer will shut that will be shut down automatically Now it's sh it's shut down. When you push the the button switch, the printer will be turned on. The printer is a button now. It's also very convenient to use this button switch to turn on and turn off the printer in the front and I have not printed uh, the, the share for the button switch yet okay so much for today's video thank you see you next time